What is up you guys, it's your boy C.A. Corey back with another video. So today, I'm gonna be showing you guys a little back road. Um, a lot of people take A1A. Let me not waste so much gas, but a lot of people take this strip. It runs from Fort Lauderdale all the way down to Palm Beach by me. And it's actually a pretty nice drive. Uh, me personally, I really like it because it's chill it's a nice vibe and if you ever got a convertible like this i didn't have the top down today because i don't feel like having the sun just beaming on me right now but if you ever have a convertible or something and you just want to chill this is the perfect strip or if you're ever on a date take her on this strip i'm telling you she's gonna love it <laughs> but yeah they got beautiful houses here too um some of the houses if you go in the back of here are insane like this one is like a freaking football field with how big that fucking driveway is so and also the beach is right there so a lot of people put their bikes and stuff right there so which is a common thing in florida everyone loves the beach for me i'm not much of a beach person but when you live down here where everyone goes to the beach it's kind of like normal down here so But yeah, we are in Delaware right now for those who don't know. This is a golf course that's like private. It's a different type of money when you get back here. So I'm just gonna take you guys along this ride. Hopefully cops don't bother us about nothing. It's so funny though, my ceramic tint, it looks so clear as if I don't have tint on the front windshield. So sometimes I forget how dark it is. I mean, I have 35, it's not crazy dark, but you can tell there's tint there. And um, sometimes when I have my GoPro on my head, I'm always like, damn, like a cop might get me because he might be like, damn, it's obstructing your view, whatever. Even though it's not, but to someone else it might seem that way and i'm always like damn if i pass a cop what if i get pulled over you know <laughs> we'll see but i doubt it because many times they can't really see through the tent but the one thing about florida cops they're better than the ones in new york i grew up in new york city my whole life they're way better up here because my friend told me a lot of them are car guys which is true a lot of them i've met and a lot of them are into cars so as long as you got a nice car and you're not bugging out going crazy, they're not gonna bother you. I'm telling you right now. Even if you're like popping a little bit, you know, burbles, downshifts, as long as you're not speeding and putting people's lives in danger, no one's gonna really bother you, to be honest. Literally, everyone who gets pulled over here, it's because of something that they did or speeding, especially back here. Like you can only do, I think 35 or 45 is the most. So if you get pulled over back here, this is all on you, bro. All on you. But yeah, it's so nice how they do the landscaping. And I'm telling you, it's like, it's set up so perfect. How much do you think it costs to upkeep all of this stuff right here? It's got to be crazy. Is that a cop right there? Yes, it is. I just saw some lights. Oh, he just passed somebody. I was like, wait, where is he at? There he is. Oh, is he pulling over that biker? 
What's he doing right now? I see the biker was trying to talk to him. The only problem with this street, it's so small. If they pull over somebody, they damn near gotta go all the way in the grass because you can't pass them because the street is so small. Oh, and recently I was fasting for like two, three days. I like doing that once or twice a month because it helps to regulate your body. Because as everyone knows, you know, all of these foods are processed. They got a bunch of, you know, bad ingredients in there. So it's good to just, you know, reset your body and flush everything out. So yeah, for those who don't know, if anyone says fasting is bad for you, they are lying. <laughs> There's so many benefits. Your skin will get clearer. The brain fog is gonna go away. So we need to be fasting for at least 14 hours overnight daily. 16 hours would be better, but at least a minimum of 14 hours without food. That allows your body to balance out the blood sugars. It allows your bowel to rest, to restore, because it, it needs downtime too. What we need to be doing for life extension, if we have cancer, if we have diabetes, it's a life extension lifestyle is what it truly is. I never see anybody at this gas station, so I don't know how they make money. I've only, I've probably seen two or three trucks my entire time of being in Florida. I never see people at that gas station. I'm telling you, like, there's certain stores and certain businesses I see, and I'm like, how do you make money? Literally, like, how do you make money? <laughs> I don't understand. I'm not gonna lie, I've kind of always wanted a gas station. I feel like a, a gas station is a good investment. You just need the right location. Once you get the right location, you're set. But it has to be a busy area. If it's not busy, it's just, it's not really gonna make a lot. Like how that place, it's in the middle of like, I mean, a lot of people do stay there because a lot of people rent out Airbnbs back there. So it's still good, but. I don't know, it's kind of hard. So. At least the biker's cool. But, yeah, a lot of people stay back there. And, uh. Rent out places on Airbnb. But yeah, man, the houses back here are freaking gorgeous. Every house, like. That's what I'm saying. It's like, when you come to Florida, you start realizing like, why didn't I move here sooner? Every time I think about it, I'm like, I should've came here much sooner. Look at that, beautiful streets. And it's quiet. Like, you turn down one of these streets, it's nice and quiet. Like, before moving here, I didn't understand why so many people like to retire here. It's, this is the best state to retire in. Probably here, I've heard Texas is also pretty good, but it's nice, man. I know at some point it's gonna continue to get more and more crowded though, cause in Florida, all they keep doing is just building. They're building and building these high rises and it's just not gonna stop cause the demand is there. I love this house. But yeah, it's probably never gonna stop because there's so much demand and everyone's moving down here. I don't know if I said this in a previous video, but this Drift 6285, I think it's listed for like 50 million or 60 million. It's got two different driveways. The driveway is like a freaking presidential suite. You see that? Oh my God, it's a different type of money. Yeah, I think that house is like 50, 60 mil. 
It's insane. Then you got the beach right here coming up. So. Oceanfront Park in Boynton Beach. I got the top down. I told you guys, this is the bed. Look, top down. This is the number one strip. If you want to just chill with your top down, everybody does it right here. A1A, man. But yeah, some of these houses are a little bit cheaper, but they're still beautiful. Look at that. I'm not gonna lie, if I end up staying in Florida, which I doubt because due to my job, I'm always gonna have to keep moving around to chase the money, but Florida, like because of the hurricanes are so bad, I don't know if I would ever get a house here. I mean, the houses are really nice, but having to deal with insurance, like everybody loves talking about oh like you should get a house you should get a house but nobody talks about insurance property taxes going up you know if you're in a gated community some of them might have hoa like it's just a lot of stuff so it's important to just note that you know and imagine if there's a hurricane or a tornado and your house just gets demolished right now you got to go through a whole thing with insurance and trying to get them to pay for it and you know trying to get insurance to pay for anything is going to take a minute right so that's the hardest part man it's the hardest part but yeah while living in florida i really don't think i'm going to and this is truthfully, I, I really don't think that I will ever own a house here. Unless I'm in an area where they barely get hit with the hurricanes, which is kind of hard because almost every area has gotten hit pretty bad, you know? When it gets close to summertime, that's when, you know, it's really hot, but that's when the hurricanes start picking up and it'll freaking rain three, four days straight, so. That's the only thing. Everything has a trade-off in life. So I'll probably stick to high-rise condos for a hot minute. And then maybe, who knows, in the future, I'll probably come back here to retire and then and then I'll just say F it and just go buy a house here, so. Yeah, these houses are gorgeous, man. If you guys ever get enough money, definitely get yourself one of these houses, great investment. Property value is always going up. I know insurance is a little bit higher because you're right next to the beach and you know, anything can happen, so. But yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little POV drive today, guys, just to show you guys around. Um, let me know what other videos you guys wanna see. Drop it in the comments down below. Give this video a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.